Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are discussing about field widths for printing integers. So what is a field width? It is the exact size of a field in which a data is printed and that exact size is specified by a field width. So basically a field width is an integer number between the person sign and between the conversion specifier. So you know that a D is a conversion specifier for integers and we have this number 4, this is a field width. Now let's go and execute this program and then we can see how field widths work. Now as you can see in here that we have specified a field width of 4. That means uh, that four spaces has been allocated for representing this data on the screen. One, two, three, and four. And if uh, this number four, uh, the field width specifier is positive, the space is going to be allocated from right to left. Now in here you can see that in the first print of statement, we have allocated a field width of four for this integer and this integer is only one. So one is printed aligned to the right side and this is how it works when our field width is positive. If it's negative, the alignment would be from the left side. Now we have tried to print one and two and as you can see they have taken their space one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And if the integer is overflowing from the field width, basically the number will be printed but the field width would be violated and if there's any other characters that are going to be printed after the specified field width, it will affect those characters. Now, as you can see in here that we have tried to print a negative integers using, uh, using the conversion specifier D for integers. And as you can see that uh, this negative sign also takes the space of a character and that you can see that it has taken one space. So for 12, it has taken uh, three spaces and it has only left one space in here. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, the space has overflowed. And if there were any other characters after this, those would be affected. So make sure that you allocate a proper space for uh, the number of characters that you want to print. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you. And I would like to see you in the coming episodes where we will discuss more about field width and precession using conversion specifiers in details in the coming episodes. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we have a discussion about uh, the precessions or printing the precessions for integers, floating point numbers and string data types. So as you can see in here that in this program we have a few examples. We want to use the precession for integers, for floating point numbers and for strings. And we have defined and declared and initialized an integer in here, a floating point number in here and a string in here and using different type of conversion specifications and also different type of precessions we will try to print and see the results. Let's go and run this program and then we will be able to discuss further. As you can see in here that when we are using the precession for integers, you can see that we have used a precession of four. And as you can see that our variable is less than four digits. And that's why, and because we have defined uh, four precession values, uh, that's why we have leading uh, zeros here for the number to fill for the space of a precession. And it's the same case uh, with nine digits of precession, as you can see that because our number has fewer digits than the nine spaces of precision and that's why we have these leading zeros. 
Now here for floating point number, as you can see in here that we have used a three precision with uh, the conversion specifier F. And as you can see, F will always uh, use uh, floating point values. And you can see that it has given us a uh, three number of precisions, even though the number has more than three precisions. Now using E, which we usually would use it for exponential notation, as you can see, it is also using the same precision and it's giving us about three values of precision with an exponential value. And for G, which is a very specific conversion specifier, this conversion specifier, when it's used with precisions, the precision is the maximum num number of significant digits. And as you can see, based on the number of maximum digits, we have rounded, the, the C programming language has rounded this number to 124. And using precision for strings, when you are trying to have a precision for a conversion specifier of string, you can see that even though our string is longer than 11 characters, only 11 characters has been printed on the screen. And that's how precision works for different types of uh, data types. I hope this episode has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we are discussing about how to combine field widths and precision. So from the previous episodes, you know exactly what is a field width and what is precision and how do we use it to represent different types of numbers and C programming language using printf. Now, as you can see in here that in this uh, printf statement, I have used a field width and I've also used a precision and I have combined them. So how you can combine them is that between the percent sign and the, between the conversion specifier, you can put uh, the field width in here and then there is a dot and then there is uh, the precision. So basically, this means that to print uh, this number, printf would allocate about uh, 9 spaces and uh, the precision will be printed until uh, 3 floating point numbers. Now let's go and execute this program uh, to see the results. Now, as you can see in this example, the field width of 9 has reserved uh, 9 spaces for printing this uh, number 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This number is aligned to the right because the field width is positive and then the precision is defining that three floating point numbers of precision should be printed and that's why the 7, 8 and 9 has been ignored in here. Now let's go and see another way that we can do this is to use the field width and precision as an argument. So what we can do in here is that, as you can see, that uh, this is the field width and also this is the precision and instead of the numbers, I have added asterisk in here and uh, the numbers I have defined in here. So basically, you can use direct numbers or maybe you can use some variables and uh, this way you will be able to define uh, the field width and precision as an argument and it will become more flexible for you. Now let's go and uh, run this program as well. And as you can see, we've got uh, the same results and we have used the field width and precision as arguments. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned. Music